Hi everyone, welcome on my channel. My name is Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator, and today it is a 31st episode of the Perfect Monday. We are also getting very close to the Remembrance Day, so I thought I will show you how to do some poppy flowers. And it will be a one-stroke technique using an acrylic paint, uh, so something different uh, than the autumns and the winter designs, which will be coming up next uh, from the 30. Uh, second episode uh, that's just next Monday uh, so stay with us but also I would like to say a huge thank you uh, for all your support as well because we had hit over 11,000 of the subscribers and that's mean a lot to me so I, I wish to really say a big thank you to all of you uh, for your continuing supports and for uh, watching all those uh, tutorials done by me so let's start That's the poppy flowers which we are going to do for a Remembrance Day and on this one I have spent a little bit more time uh, so it has a little bit more detail but I will show you how to achieve uh, those liquid the one stroke uh, paint so I have prepared some tips in here for you to give you an example as well and what you need is some gel polish in a white background and then once you apply the top coat you can buff the tip the acrylic paints uh, needs like a little bit of the rough surface so it is going to be easier to paint. Now this tutorial is going to be a pretty difficult one for me uh, but I just really wanted to record it uh, to when I've got time to be honest. Uh, so I'm missing my usual acrylic paints and that's made my job extremely difficult because uh, I'm using the Neil Perfect acrylic paints and they are amazing for a one stroke like really amazing like I can paint so much detail with them. So I'm going to squeeze out the black one out and then the only ones which I had it in the house, that's the Tyranity acrylic paints. But I find for one stroke, they are not the best ones, really. Uh, they don't mix well. Uh, so it is going to be a hard time for me. I'm just going to squeeze out a bit of those paints. I think they may be good for like a freehand painting, but not the best ones for one stroke. Well, yeah, let's, let's challenge myself. Uh, I think if you've got a chance to go and have a look at my previous video, you should be able to see it, how the Neil Perfect acrylic paints mix uh, and how easy it is to paint the one stroke with it compared to those ones. Uh, so I think it's definitely worth to go and check that out. And I don't like the fact that you need to use the spatula to remove them as well. I think it's more messy. And then some white one. Cool, so that's my acrylic paints ready. And I show you what brushes I'm going to use. I quite like uh, baby wipes for my one stroke as well, just so it is uh, much easier for me to clean in between and the brush I'm going to use is the Rota Palitska one stroke brush uh, you can get it also from my website as well I will leave it uh, the, the link in the description of this video as well so to start with the poppy flower I'm going to pick up the red and the red we need to have lots of it uh, on the brush so on the higher point I've got lots of red and then on the lower point I've got a tiny bit of the black now normally the acrylic paints mix really well but you can see it they don't mix really well like the the red is gone it's not as highly pigmented I feel a bit too watery see I, I'm kind of creates the transparent place so the blending is going to be much more difficult for me but the technique is the same and the shapes of the petals are the same so for the poppy flowers the black is on the bottom the red is on the top and the touches of the brush and then we shake the hand a little hand a little bit and I keep lifting my brush all the time so I want uh, to get like a really nice shape of the petals and for one stroke you have to be really really so slow if you want to paint it at uh, the petals nice now i'm leaving a gap and again doing another petal i'm 
give it a couple seconds for the product to dry. Uh, this is very important with the one stroke. You want to make sure everything is drying nice before you touch it with the next paint. So to save the time, I'm going to paint some small petal right on the top. So it's just really a wee squiggle of the brush. And then we're missing uh, some petal right on the top in here, like a very tiny one. And now we need to close the poppy flower. So you have to wait really a um, good amount of the time so you don't smudge those paints. So we have painted the top one where the red was on the top, black on the bottom. And we are doing exactly the same movement to close these petals. So red is touching the red. Go a bit to the top. Three long that petal. And now we need to close it. So I'm changing the position of my brush just to close that petal. So this way we have um, a chief like an open poppy flower. We could add maybe a tiny wee petal in here to make it a more close look. And just to repeat that for you, I will do one more on the bottom. So nice petals. Touch, touch. And then to close it, I need to wait for it to dry. And I will move just this way to close it. So I'm going to give it a couple of seconds for it to dry. And then using my painting fineliner brush, this one was well done, like overused. But I love this brush, it's so perfect. And actually, the older it is, the better lines it gives me because it's kind of become uh, thinner and, and better, uh, better lines. Uh, so to do the outline of the poppy flower, I'm going to mix a little bit of the white into my red because I don't want to go only with the white because um, that will be too strong for a red color. And now I'm going to outline some of the petals. Almost not touching, like lots of water in. Look how I'm preparing my brush, lots of water in. Very nice point, so I can paint extremely thin lines. You can see this is hardly visible, like such a small detail. Which makes the flower look beautiful. This one I want to show that it is twisted. So I'm starting in this place and then I'm showing it was twisted petal. The bottom part just dry out so I can quickly go and pick up red and black again. Quite a lot of red, not too much black, remember. This black is so highly pigmented. And then I'm going to close my poppy flower. See, this paint is a bit too see-through, so I have to wait for it to dry and go over it again. Still working on my pink color. Then again, give it a couple seconds for it to dry. Clean your brush and now we can go into the white. Again, lots of water in. And now I'm going to only highlight some places, extremely thin, like extremely thin. Hold the breath. Oh, and that was so bad. But actually good that it happened. So if something like this happened, quickly baby wipes. And that's what I love about them. And then just wipe it off. Because this paint didn't dry out and the previous layer of the paint dry, I've got a couple seconds to remove uh, any mistakes. And I love baby wipes for one stroke. So I hope you really like this uh, tip. I like when the things happen on the video. Now, because I have touched it with the wipes, now it is wet. So I have to really wait a couple seconds before touching the same place. And my white goes on the places where I've got the pink. It's 
So this way the poppy flower looks much nicer. The another step is to create the middle of the poppy flower. So I'm mixing my green with the yellow. Don't go too dark because we've got black background and it's not going to be visible. And now the poppy flower has like a rounded shape middle. And same on this one. Now we have to wait for it to dry, but you don't lose the time. I'm going to create the stream. Tiny bit of the black into my green because it's kind of a dirty green. And the streams of the poppy flowers. And just draw a nice stream. The one in here, you can hardly see it. We leaves ish. Now we could actually paint one leaf. Uh, I don't like too much of the leaves with the poppy flowers, so it's not going to be like a proper poppy flower leaf, but because I think it's just too much. So this one is just hardly visible. I'm just painting with the color and then adding a little bit of the darker green through it. The middle is dry. So going into the black, extremely thin, like look at the size of my brush, like it's creating like almost invisible lines. And now we are painting a cross inside the poppy flower. This green is still wet, so I cannot paint over it. So that's how the middle of the poppy flower looks, a little bit of the dots. And the best way to achieve that is mix the white with the yellow and just draw a couple dots around it. Like really nice and tiny ones. So that's a nice, like, and pretty easy way to, to do the poppy flowers. Um, you could also use the gel polish as well and um, then freehand the detail. But I find that the one stroke is really the quickest um, to do a flowery, par uh, flowery parts. And um, especially once you get a hang of it, it doesn't take as much time. So you can see it uh, on this one. So I have put a little bit of the blue sky on the background as well. Uh, so you could do the same, just do a very wash blue. Uh, but that's the one which we have painted today. And then if we would spend just a couple seconds longer on the detail, uh, you could achieve something like a bit more dimension uh, when I fade it a little bit more like, and that's all achieved with the detail. And I think the quality of the paints where they blend a bit better and uh, they have been mixed much better um, if I had two same brand. Maybe the reason for it is that I mix the brand and I use the black from the Neil Perfect and the red one from the other brand, but uh, I still prefer uh, the Neil Perfect acrylic paints like, uh, and I have tried quite a few different ones as well. So this is dry now and I can apply the top coat and this is going to be a, a no wipe top coat. I think this is also the video which is worth your a share button. So um, if you could do it, share with your friends as well so they can see it, how to uh, paint those uh, one stroke flowers uh, for a Remembrance Day. And uh, yeah, now I need to give it a cure and I will see you in the next episode of The Perfect Monday. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.